Oh, you don't think I'm going to slide down this pole. You got another thing coming to you. Whee! Hi friends, Amiibo Jamie here, and you're watching the next part of my What Remains of Edith Finch gameplay. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I'm glad nothing was taken, Vivacini. That's terrible. <clears throat> Why are people terrible? This feels wildly unsafe to be walking here. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Finch control. Oh, this is the baby. I'm glad nothing was taken for the genie. Wait, no, I... No. I wanted to read the first page. Kay and Sam. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's so sad. So Sam, who fell off the cliff, was married to Kay. And we don't know who his daughter was. <clears throat> that was upsetting. I am very sad. That portrait of that baby. Oh, Gus. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. <laughs> Our father Banana. never hit us kids, at least Banana. not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Oh. Musifer would like to know if you would like a doof fairy. I need to know, do you want a Clefairy? Like, in, in life? Uh, also, hello! Hello! Hello, Vera, Ben! I made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart. Just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Uh, in, in general? I mean, I, I get, I would, uh, I, I would accept a Clefairy in life. In death. In happiness. Am I marrying a Clefairy? You don't need a stepmom, in other words, that... I now pronounce you husband and wife. Would you like... Oh, yeah. I, I would take a Pokemon named after me. I know I... Wasn't there an Espeon named after me once? Say less! <laughs> are you playing Arceus? Or are you still playing, uh... Uh, what's it called? Bioshock. Do I need to fly my kite now? Oh, whoa. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Rutro. Inappropriate. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just playing the character. Panic geese appeared and quickly went. Badoof? But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have so many questions. Uh oh. I feel like I'm really messing things up. Down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. I have a lot of questions about these Bidoof mods. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. Ooh. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Yeah, this game is really... Oh my... That startled me. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. Ooh. But I didn't. Until we found you. Mm. She never talked about him, but... Mom told me once, if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Oh, duh, I'm Edith. <laughs> <clears throat> and I am assuming that my mom is Dawn. No, right? I know, I forget. Deepest sympathy. Man. Like, what happens... What happens if you, like, marry into this family and there's just, like, so much tragedy? 
It's really sad. Raise flag, breakfast, quiet time. Do you sleep, Josh? Greg, be a baby. <laughs> Routine, jump rope, jumping jacks, push-up crunches, run to mailbox and back. You really gonna make me rock climb right now? My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. It's just At the time. It seems was like a bad idea. Dawn. Why the India? Ten ways to teach critical thinking. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, you don't think I'm going to slide down this pole. You got another thing coming to you. Whee! <clears throat> no playing outside without room, no answering your opinion, no mess after dark, all chores before dark, respect others. That's Tom Gregory. Oh, I just ended up back where I started. Now I have to do it again? That was silly of me. Now it's my fault that this poor pregnant woman is doing this twice. Very rude. I don't think I could do this not pregnant. Not that I could do it better pregnant. That's not what I meant. Just wanted to clarify. Ah, here we go. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Am I about to climb up this like wildly treacherous home that has no structural integrity? When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. So you die even if you marry into the family? That's I'm awful. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. <gasps> String lights! Oh, Brian, your favorite! <laughs> The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. So they just added weird extensions to the top forever? How does that even work? And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Great job. Awesome. Fact or fi fiction? Fiction. Great job. Thanks. Edith Lewis Milton. But it didn't last. The Curse. Odin Finch. Oh, she put this together. Interesting. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species, variety. You're welcome. The Scientific Method. Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. In we go. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Whoa. OK. 
Can I have this in my house? I want this. Oh my god. Why do my email notifications scare me? Magic paintbrush. Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. This game is wild. It's excellent. I am very much enjoying playing this. Blink. I was four when Milton disappeared. Huh. Extra, extra, historic American newspapers now available. Turning points in history. Extra, extra. Is that that's how everyone here reads their newspapers, right? Extra, extra, read all about it. Mom spent months searching for my brother, then she sealed the doors. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Oh, now I gotta go the long way. This is very unsafe. Who even built this? Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. It's just a casual boat on top of a house. I am up so high. Nothing about this house makes sense. <laughs> Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. <laughs> that part of him lived on. Weed. Inappropriate content. Smoking fatty, smoking blunt. Who got the blunt? We got the blunt. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Okay. 
He kept working at the cannon. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... wonder. Oh. Oh, this is hard. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. I can't multitask. Then something moved. Like this. Back. And toads. God, I can't do both of these at the same time. One controller is doing one thing and the other is doing the other and it's and really hard. Not names. He knew it was all in his head. Oh gosh. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Oh my god. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. <laughs> but he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. This is hard. Like a whole Fish new Fish don't Lewis. bleed. Hi, Spiffy. So I let him go on. So what I'm hearing is you're a bad mental health professional. That's what we need. I even encouraged Oh him. no, it's taking up more of the screen. It seemed very promising at first. Burp, burp, burp. I'm gonna chop my hand off, aren't I? Aren't made I? a new friend. Just a warning. That's what I think is gonna happen. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Oh my god. I'm a potato. I'm a potato. Yeah, let the potato distract brick you by brick. from the murder that I think is going to happen. Then he made musicians. Be distracted. Is the dog friend gonna die pushing over the edge? No. I think that, um, oh. This is me showing you that I cannot multitask. I think this, the game is and gonna take up the whole screen play. and then I'm gonna chop off my hands and die. He talked about starting a band. Whee! And he was always humming. Every day, his imagination grew stronger. Look at the fish. Uh, yeah. He no longer Look spoke at the fish. Yeah, yeah. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Chopping, chopping, yeah, yeah. Then one chop day it struck chop. him. Chop, 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 chop. He's daydreaming, yeah. Even the stones under his feet were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. Do I win? And he won. Whee! They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. Off I go. It became a game for him. Lewistopia, on to the next place. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewisville. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality.
Minneapolis. Ah, Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh, God. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. That's so sad. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Beautiful prince. Prince was on his own quest for radiant rainbows. Radiant rainbows. Oh. Oh. Wait. This is too complicated. Nope. I'm gonna make it through. <laughs> he followed the sound of his. Electric sitar. Oh, I'm missing the tunes. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. He said the sun and west of the moon. Oh, this is hard. Then, his logic remained sound. <clears throat> Look, the whole thing. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Hello. But he was so proud of having oh. created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Chop. Chop. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Handsome. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. I'm gonna go in this tiny door. Psychedelic baby. He began to forget the world we know. Oh, I think no. it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. It's not going to be good. It's going to be bad. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Hello? Sir? Go up these steps. Oh no, I can. I even pick up the fish. I still this thought I could save him. This is sad. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder.
the palace would be packed with his companions. including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. Hello, royal subjects. You can't stop me. His prince waited, holding his crown. Sad. My dude. <sighs> Bend down his head. Don't do it. Your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Thank you so much for watching this part again if you ever want to watch me playing these games live you're welcome to come catch me on my twitch channel at twitch.tv slash jamie otherwise please like subscribe comment on my videos so i know that you're enjoying this content i'll see you next time